Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today it is the 12th of March, 2024. And the time, around 9.32 a.m. So just remember, Pisces, this is a collective Pisces reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the video, Pisces, when you're supposed to receive those messages. Okay, Pisces. Messages for Pisces today, please, spirits. Messages for Pisces. So first card of the reading, you've got bad health. You may not be feeling well. Then you've also got great fortune. Something is surprising you. Then you've got pathway. So I feel like Pisces, with the bad health, you could be not feeling very well, uh, feeling a bit down, depressed. But there's something just around the corner, okay? There's something just around that bend. And then you've got a pathway. So this is all part of that path. This is all part of your journey. Everything that's supposed to be happening in your life. you got poverty on the back of the deck. So you could be doing a lot of work for not much at the moment. Things aren't coming into fruition quick enough, I feel. Okay, Pisces, we'll grab out some tarot. messages for Pisces today. The Lovers. First card of the reading. Gemini energy. Then the Four of Needles, which is the Four of Swords. And you've got the Eight of Candles. So the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Needles, the Knight of Swords, the King of Presents, so the King of Pentacles, Earth energy in the center of your reading, the Ace of Presents, so the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Candles, Queen of Wands. The star, Aquarius energy. The king of candles and the seven of candles. On the back of the deck, Pisces, you've got the queen of needles in reverse and you've got the three of potions, which is the three of cups. Okay, let's get into it, Pisces. Let's see what's in your energy today. But you're making a choice. You're making a decision. This could be with somebody in your life, someone that has Gemini in their chart. They don't have to. What's the lovers? What is this lovers for Pisces? So you have the Ten of Potions. So making a choice on someone that... You could have a commitment with, you could have family, children, you know, take what resonates for you. You could be married to this person. And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart. And the Three of Candles, which is the Three of Wands. So I feel like the decision is you're turning your back on this energy with the lovers coming out, this is a choice. The wheel of fortune, I feel like this is just part of that turn in the wheel that I feel um, you may not be feeling well about, but this is that turn that's gotta be done, it's gotta be chosen. I feel like you could also feel that things just aren't working out for you, you know, with people in your life, things but this person i feel there's like a downward spiral 
and you're choosing to turn your back on that. You could have expected this person to come towards you, but I feel they may have not. And you're making that choice to leave that energy. So what's the Four of Needles, which is the Four of Swords, which is healing, stability. You've got the Eight of Potions. You know, after leaving something that wasn't fulfilling, the Eight Potions or the Eight Cups is not the Ten of Cups. You know, this is someone that I feel they weren't giving you that equal. They weren't coming in to meet you halfway. You've got the Emperor, Aries Energy, and the Hierophant. So, yes, this was some type of lesson being learned. This person could have Taurus in their chart. They don't have to. This is someone that you could see once a year. Santa's really coming out to me. Like, you know, he only comes once a year. Um, this person only comes to people that he thinks are good you know, this person makes a decision on whether he thinks this person is good, whether he thinks this person is naughty. Aries could be significant, but you are making that decision to move on. Realizing this is just a lesson for you, you know, and I feel like you're sitting in healing energy. You're getting more grounded and stable, I feel, with this person out of your life. What's the Eight of Candles? What is the Eight of Candles? So you have the Nine of Needles. So that's the Nine of Swords. The King of Potions. So water energy. So this person's been bottling up their emotions, I feel. And they've got the Seven of Presents. So the Seven of Pentacles. This person does want to move forwards towards you. Uh, they do want to take action. They do want to send a message. Um, they could be wanting to catch up. This person is this person that's in bad health. So I feel like, you know, you are healing. I feel like you're getting better. But I feel like this person is in some type of depressing mode with the nine of needles or the nine of swords someone that can't sleep at night over the some type of decisions that they've made in their life with the seven of presents coming out i feel like there is no communication between you and this person um but this person is looking back at all the the past things that happened between you and them um looking back at the progress also there is this progress movement kind of thing. Um, with the King of Potions, as I said, this person could have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They don't have to. Um, but I feel like this person is wanting to come forward. But they could be sending a message and not actually moving towards you physically, just sending a message. There may be a message coming towards you if it hasn't already. What's the Knight of Needles? For Pisces, what is this Knight of Needles? So the Knight of Needles is the Knight of Swords, this action taker. You've got the Page of Potions. The Nine of Potions, the Queen of Potions, the Five of Needles, the Eight of Presents and the Seven of Needles. These cards are so thick. Hermit, Virgo energy could be significant. This person could have some type of addictions with the devil coming out, uh, someone that comes in and out of your life. But this person, I feel, is wanting to come in and say something and work on something with you. But there was some type of manipulation. This person could have made you walk away also with the seven of needles coming out and the five of needles. So there could have been some type of show showdown between you and them. Now, at a point, this person was a wish fulfillment in your life. I feel like you were giving a lot to them with the Queen of Potions coming out. Um, this person was giving very little. Uh, this person, I also feel, could be self-indulging. As I said, this person could have addictions. They could be younger than you. You know, but I feel like they were giving you very little. I also feel like this person does want to come in with some type of little emotion. 
Now, I feel like round two is, you know, round two or three or four or whatever this is in your life with this person. But they like to win. That's the thing. This person likes to win. They could be a narcissist. You know, take what resonates for you. Someone that likes to be in control, but there's no communication. I feel like this person could have addiction still with this devil here. What's the king of presence? What's this king of presence? So this person's wanting to come forward and give you something little. Present could be significant. You've got the five of potions. I'm not taking all of those. It's like five cards there. What's the king of presents for Pisces? The nine of presents. They're wanting to bring in one more thing to make this whole thing. But the thing is, though, Pisces, you've made the nine. You've made the nine cups. You've made the nine presents, you know, the nine of pentacles. You're doing it all yourself, and this person's coming in with one. You know, is that enough for you? At the beginning of this reading here, you can see that this person wasn't giving you that equal, and they're coming in again with the same type of energy. You've got the three of presents coming out and on the back of the deck, the two of candles. So here they are walking in towards you. As I said, a present could be significant. Uh, it is Pisces season. Your birthday could be significant. This person could come in and bring you a birthday present. Um, they could have Earth in their chart. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, someone that makes a bit of money, someone that's stable in their own life. This person's pretending to be Santa. Pretending to be something they are not. Maybe by giving, maybe them acting a different way is making them feel, you know, alive. And you bring out a different side in them, I feel. But with the five of potions, there's more of this depressing sadness energy. I feel like they are wanting to collaborate with you, bring something together. You know, that three is a stability also. Uh, three pentacles, it's like the triangle, you know, that is stable. So they're wanting to start some type of new thing with you. But the thing is, they're bringing in very little. But this is not like them, that's the thing. You know, this person may not be someone that's very kind and giving, um, but you bring out that side to them. I feel like you're looking very attracted to them, to to them, exactly. Um, but I feel like they're feeling lost without you. You're looking attractive. You are really growing yourself, growing your business, whatever you're doing in the material world, Pisces. But they're wanting to come in with that one present um, while you're working on the nine presents, you know. So they're coming in with something very, like, minuscule to what you're doing, what you're working on. <clears throat> what is the ace of presents? So this is that present, a teddy could be significant, a doll. What's the ace of presents? You've got the ten of candles. The ace of needles, so the ace of swords. And the fool. So this person is moving forwards towards you, even though there's something like a burden uh, that they're holding on to while they move forward. Now, this person looks at you as their complete soulmate, someone that they want to share their cup with, someone that they want to get married to. You could be married to this person. My cat's running around crazy. Um, if you can hear the carpet, <laughs> her claws, just she's just running around like... A crazy cat, but no one's home besides myself, so, and her, so she gets to run wild. Um, but as I said, there's this ace of present, there's this new beginning that this person wants to start with you. They want to come towards you, 
Aries Aquarius could be significant with some type of clarity. That present is really coming out significantly. And I feel like when they do move in, there's life isn't going to be the same again. That's the thing. You know, with that ace of presence, you walk through the archway and it's like a new world. Um, but they're, they're bringing clarity. I feel like they're wanting to bring something back together. But they're ready to start the new journey, I feel, after having some type of epiphany. But the thing is, though, there's a ten of... There's a Ten of Candles here, the Ten of Wands. There's something that they're still holding on to while they move forwards towards you. Okay, Pisces. What is the Queen of Candles? What's the Queen of Candles for Pisces? So you have the Seven of Presents. The chariot, cancer energy, and the moon, Pisces cancer energy. There's something you don't see. This person could have a three-party situation with the queen of candles coming out. Um, this may be the thing that you don't see. You know, three-party situation doesn't always have to be someone that is a lover. It could be a friend, a family member. Um, in this picture here, it's like there's someone caring for them. So there could be someone, I feel like, a family member caring for this person while they are in some type of sadness. But I feel like this person's still going to move forwards towards you, even though they may have someone in their life that's trying to stop it all. This person is looking at um, the progress between what you have had with them. You know, this isn't something just new. Uh, there's been movement forwards. Cancer could be significant or Pisces. <clears throat> but this person is going to move forwards towards you. Also with that Queen of Candles coming out, she is the peacemaker, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That could be significant. But this person is, I feel, looking at you like you are that, you know, the, that wish fulfillment, that thing that makes them live life. And I feel like there is some type of journey that they're willing to take. So you've got the star coming out. What is the star? What is the star for Pisces? So you have the nine of needles. The nine of presents. So nines could be significant. Nine, nine, nine. That's coming into completion. As I said, you're sitting in this nine energy. <clears throat> so there's... A cycle in your life about to be completed. You've got the pathway coming out. This is part of that path. <clears throat> I feel like there's abundance coming towards you also, Pisces. And then you've got the two of potions. So I feel like you're going to be in your head when this person does want to move forwards towards you. You know, they're coming in with very little. You have a lot going on in your life. As I said, you're in nine energy. <clears throat> No, I feel like you're letting go of control. You're focusing on something in your life that is, you know, that star, um, that Aquarius energy. But you're in your head about this commitment, as I was saying before. <clears throat> you're worried that this person may leave you... Um, Again, because this, as I said, uh, second time round, third, fourth, this could have happened a lot of times in and out. Um, and I feel like this person coming back into your life is leaving you vulnerable. Um, this was something that was, you know, that wish fulfillment at a time in your life. But now I feel like you don't know if it is or not anymore. 
What is the King of Candles and the Seven of Candles? <clears throat> Three cards, please, spirits. So you've got the Nine of Potions. The Four of Needles, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. So yeah, this person wants to fight for it. I feel like in the future, when this person does come in, there may be a lot of people that are against this, against this person wanting to come in and fight for this. But they're starting to realize that this is their life and they're going to live it the way they want to live it. With the King of Candles, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius... This person, you know, looks at you passionately and this could be someone that you're married to. As I said, um, this could be someone that wants a commitment with you with the Hierophant coming out. You've also got the Emperor here, Aries energy. I feel like there's going to be a healing of this because this person looks at you like a wish fulfillment. They're choosing you. You know, as I said, the emperor comes out. He is Santa. Santa only comes once a year. Um, he has his own naughty nice list. So I feel like this person is looking at you as something that they do want in their life. I feel like they do want to heal this connection. With the Hierophant coming out, Taurus energy. You know, they want commitment. They want marriage. They're going to fight for this. Um... And I feel like they're going to show you that they do want to fight for this connection. Okay, Pisces. So for what you don't see on the back of the deck, you've got the Queen of Needles in reverse and the Three of Potions. What's the Queen of Needles in reverse for Pisces? So you have the Ace of Needles, so I feel like with the Queen of Needles in reverse, she is someone that is not using logic at, any, at all, someone that's, I feel, um, living off emotions right now. You've got the Eight of Potions. Living off, you know, emotions and not good emotions like sadness, um, you know, darkness. And you've got the King of Needles. So, yeah, this is someone that is past energy, someone that could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to. Someone that is a logical thinker, but I feel like at the moment they aren't sitting in that energy of um, someone that will listen to people. The Queen of, Queen of Swords, she has been through a lot and will listen to people. So I feel like this person has been through a lot, but they're not listening to what others have to say. They're making their own choices based on, I feel, emotions in their life. As I said, this could be some X energy. This could be someone that has air in their chart, but they're looking at that graveyard. They're looking at those eight cups that you've left. There's no one there. It's over. Um, it's quiet. There's sadness, but they're going to come in and say something to you, I feel. They want to stitch things together. Um, they've got the clarity, I feel, um, even though they're not sitting upright in this Queen of Needles energy. Um, they're getting the clarity by becoming emotional. And as I said, um, you could have bring something out in this person that um, doesn't get seen a lot. What's the three of potions? So you have the six of presents, the ten of potions, And the two of potions. So there's a reconciliation um, with this commitment, with this connection, with the soulmate. You know, the two of potions, they're coming together. They're chinking their 
clinking their <laughs> chinking, clinking their cups together, um, celebrating something. As I said, it is Pisces season, um, so your birthday could also be significant. With the Six of Presents coming out, I feel like this person does want to give equal. I feel like they do want to make that effort for you because this person, I feel, may have children with you. This person may want to have a relationship with you, may want to get married to you. They may already be married to you. They may want to just rework on this, okay? But this person is moving forwards. I feel like you are a bit nervous when this person does move forwards towards you, Pisces. But, you know, you're going with that flow, that's the Knight of Presents, so the Knight of Pentacles, slow-moving energy. Okay. Pisces, let's do a fortune-telling card for you. Good news from an old friend is coming your way. So the four of hearts. So that is the four of cups. Um, someone could be coming and giving you a cup. Um, I feel while you are occupied on things, someone could be surprising you with something. Um, music message now and we'll do some angel numbers. We'll do an angel number for you, Pisces. Thank you so much to the people that commented the angel numbers up for everybody thank you so much i love seeing the different um different meanings of the angel number that everybody gets you know but whatever you see is your message so even if you do see these ones that people comment on the messages that is your message too okay i mean on the comments so yeah that's your message I just saw blue, Leanne Rhymes. That reminds me of that bad health card. So you've got easy, faith no more, gimme all your loving, ZZ Top, and you keep me hanging on, Kim Wilde. So listen to those songs. They will have messages for you in them. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing your energy, being here every day. I love doing these readings for the community. Um, I love that people are trying to improve their lives uh, for the better for themselves. Um, I love that so much. Also, I am doing 11% off um, my personal readings on my website. So if you would like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. Use the code word birthday and you will get that 11% off. That is for the whole of the Pisces season. So yes, check that out if you would like one. Sorry, I got to do these angel numbers. Angel numbers before we go. I got these dice for my birthday, so let's do them. I'm going to do them every day, okay? Angel number for Pisces, 70. 70 or 7, okay? So look at both those because 7 plus 0 is 7. So um, 70 and 7. Also, I want to thank everyone so much for your birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Um, it means so much to me. It makes me feel very, very special seeing all those messages um, commented on my videos. It's nice to know um, there are so many amazing people out there talking about amazing people. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that's been purchasing the personal readings, um, that's been supporting me, donating, everything that you're doing. I want to thank Nathan so much. Thank you so much, Nathan, for my birthday present. I will send you an email and say thank you so much. Um, but I love you so much. Thank you so much for being, you know, my supporter over the years. Um, I am very grateful, as I say always, to have every single one of you here, you know, and I'm just wanting to be here for you guys. I want to help you. Um, I'm 
got some things in the work, so I'll keep you posted. But I will leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Guys and gals, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.